Last week, we looked a bit at the last type of continuous data, which are sort of described as time to event data. Sometimes people talk about this as survival data. It's sort of when you, you're measuring the time before something happens, when it may not always happen. So for example, you, you might have be looking at whether animals, uh, how long animals survive, but they don't all die. So you don't have values for all the animals. But you can't ignore those that don't die and just look at the ones that do. So you need a way to be able to analyse those. Whether or not it's survival you're looking at, the methods used to analyse this type of data are always talked about as survival analysis. And they take these, for example, animals that don't die into account. And these are called censored data because you actually you know that they've survived to a certain amount of time, but you don't know exactly how long they're going to survive because you haven't observed them die yet. There are lots of sophisticated ways of doing survival analysis, but if you're just doing basic group comparisons, the data can be summarised using something called the Kaplan-Meier curve. That's basically a plot of the proportion of, over time, that have had the particular event. So um, it might be the proportion of animals that are still alive at each time point. And to compare those curves, well, to compare whether the, the time for two groups is, is different on average, you can do something called a log rank test. This is a very simple way of analysing survival data. So that's one to look out for if you just want to do a basic comparison. There are other methods such as Cox regression and things that I'm not going to go into, but there are several other sophisticated methods as well if you've got more structure to your data to analyse survival data.